Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can create and manage your own content packs using the Smart Gallery in order to better organize all of your Reillusion assets. The quickest way to create a new pack is to make sure that you're in the custom section, which will normally display all of your custom content packs. Simply right click and select create pack. You can then name the pack and then proceed to add the assets that you want. In this case we're calling our custom pack Fashion Girl. If we select our avatar and go down to save when we're in our custom Fashion Girl pack, then it will add that model as a CC avatar. You can also add clothing assets one by one to your pack as well. In this case, we're selecting the underwear and then repeating the same saving process. Note that the default content category will be shirts, so we'll need to click on the drop down menu to the right and select the correct category, which in this case is cloth underwear. We can then name it whatever we want and it will save as a CC cloth item with the layer order preset. Notice that the thumbnail for the content will just be the default screen view, so let's zoom in a bit, right click and then capture thumbnail for a more focused view on our clothing item. We can then repeat the process for the short cardigan slash sweater thing she's wearing and one more time for her shorts. Be sure to focus the camera on each item you're saving so you'll know in the future exactly which item it is. Now there are certain items that do not need to be selected in order to save them, such as project, character, and skin. In this case, we'll just save the entire project. It's normally a good idea to put project in the name, even though the file name will have a CC project suffix, just to more easily differentiate it from the other items with similar thumbnails. Once everything is saved, you'll be able to go into the categories on the left and find each item under its respective category. Let's take a look now at how to overwrite items once we've modified them. Let's start by selecting our shorts and opening up our modify panel. I'm just going to do a simple color change here, then repeat the same process to save the new change. This time however, you'll notice an overwrite option since we have the same item selected. If we change the content category to something else however, you'll see the overwrite option will disappear. Only content with the same category can be replaced. We can enter in the same name now and just go ahead and select Overwrite. Smart Gallery also allows you to create subfolders in the folder tree view to the left, which could not be done in previous versions. You'll notice that each category now has a plus button beside it. In this case, we'll simply click on the plus button under Pants and create a new subcategory called Jeans. Every subfolder can be renamed and deleted once they are created. To move content to the newly created subfolder, we can right click on the item and select Move to Subfolder from the context menu. You can also create additional subfolders here if you want, but let's just continue adding for now. After we've added it to our Gene subfolder, we can go back and check the folder to see it has been added successfully. And of course you can also directly save content items to your new subfolders as well, which is what we're doing here. You'll see now that the jean shorts will be added to both categories. You can also add multiple items at once to a new subfolder as well by multiple selecting them and then following the same process. Naturally, template content will be organized into different subfolders as well. If we take a look at the CC motion and expression pack, you'll see a main pose folder with other subfolders for male and female poses and male and female expressions, all separately categorized. Likewise, there are also separate gestures, each with unique thumbnails. This goes for prop packs as well. Each pack will contain its own unique way of organizing content in different folder structures. Finally, it's a good idea to add metadata to your custom packs as well. You can do this by right clicking on the pack and selecting Edit Metadata. Here you can do things like add a custom thumbnail and change the content category of each item. You can also add subfolders here as well by changing the name of an existing subfolder. Once you do, you'll see that all the content we changed to the new subfolder name has been added to a new folder with that name. The old subfolder will still exist, but it will be empty. That's about it for this video guys, hopefully that cleared things up a bit in terms of organizing your content into folders. Be sure to check out our other smart gallery tutorials and our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.